Morning, Mr. Chairman and uh, Ranking Member, members of the committee. Uh, for the record, Lynn Helms, Director of the Department of Mineral Resources. Uh, thank you for the invitation to testify today. Uh, North Dakota uh, has a dog in this hunt, as you know. Uh, we are the home of the Bakken uh, oil and gas resource. It is the largest U.S. unconventional resource uh, evaluated by the USGS. It covers 15,000 square miles in western North Dakota. That's the size of the state of West Virginia. North Dakota's geology is ideal for horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing. Ninety-five percent of our wells are horizontally drilled and hydraulically fractured. But our geology is very different from Pennsylvania, Colorado, Wyoming, Texas. That's why this is a, should be a state-regulated issue. Um, we also have an ideal landscape and ownership uh, for the development of our resource. It's 82 percent private, 12 uh, percent federal, and 6 percent state. And, uh, however, you heard that these federal lands belong to all of us. Uh, that is not accurate. In North Dakota, half of those federal minerals are on Fort Berthold Reservation. They are owned by private allottees and operated in trust for those allottees. They do not belong to all of us, but they will be severely impacted by this rule and regulation. In addition, 91% uh, of the Bakken and Three Forks spacing units contain some small federal tracts that were acquired during 1930s bankruptcies. Even though the other minerals are owned privately, the surface is owned privately, these rules will interfere with the private development rights of those private lands. This is a state's rice issue. Uh, you've already heard about the source of, of water being under the jurisdiction of state water commissions. It's not under the jurisdiction of the federal government in any way, shape, or form. The use of water for hydraulic fracturing has allowed the state of North Dakota to use oil-generated tax funds to build a rural water system that's going to serve the entire western half of the state. Industrial sales of that water are going to pay for it. And so hydraulic fracturing has enormous benefit for the citizens of western North Dakota. The transportation of that water is under the jurisdiction of our Public Service Commission and Department of Transportation. It's not under the federal government or the Department of Interior. This is a one-size-fits-all rule, and yet it promises to comply with state, tribal, and local jurisdictions and rules. You can't have a one-size-fits-all that complies with all of those different sets of rules. At best, it, it's a duplication. At worst, it's going to add costly, time-consuming, and non-jurisdictional pieces. There's already severe delays on federal lands in North Dakota. Uh, if you want to drill on federal lands outside Fort Berthold in North Dakota, it takes 180 days to get a drilling permit. If you want to drill on Fort Berthold, it's 290 days. If you want to drill on private lands or state lands, it's 20 to 30 days to get a drilling permit. Uh, the rule says that it won't alter investment, but we have already had to modify many Bakken and Three Forks spacing units in order to reconfigure them to allow companies to drill around these federal tracks <clears throat> on which they can't get a federal permit in a timely manner. North Dakota is a user of frac focus. You've heard that it's industry run, but it's not industry run. It's run by the governors of the Interstate Oil and Gas Compact Commission and the state regulators of the Groundwater Protection Council. It was designed to educate and communicate to landowners and communities about what was happening in their neighborhood. It was designed for easy reporting, and those reports are audited by the state of North Dakota on a monthly basis. We issue notices of violation if people don't report uh, under our rules, and we have issued fines in one case for somebody who failed to follow up on the notice of violation. It is our job as state regulators to enforce that reporting on FRAC fo Focus. FRAC Focus 2.0 is going to have the searchability. Uh, it was never intended to compile fracturing information for NGOs. It was intended to educate communities and landowners on what was happening next door to them. The Harvard researchers that criticized FRAC Focus never contacted North Dakota or Texas or Pennsylvania or Oklahoma. They never contacted Groundwater Protection Council. They reviewed the old version and criticized it uh, for faults that it was never designed to address. Mr. Chairman, as I stated, at best, in its best case, this is a duplica duplicative rule. In its worst case, it is going to significantly impact our citizens in North Dakota on the Fort Berthold Reservation and the citizens who have small tracts of federal lands underlying their private surface or private mineral ownership. Thank you for your time and I look forward to answering questions.